Oakland businesses forfeit daily profits to make a statement to Oakland leaders. Plus, it is official. There's a new candidate for San Francisco mayor. Those stories and more coming up. Hey there, I'm Audrey Assistio. Let's get you synced in. Business owners in Oakland put the close sign in the window, giving up income to send a message. About 200 business owners gathered in front of closed storefronts Tuesday morning as a strike of sorts to decry the city's response to armed holdups in broad daylight, carjackings, and break-ins. They also say the city's policies were well-intentioned, but didn't work. As progressives, it's not easy to admit that we support a failed policy, but someone Right now, with the maturity and courage to, to admit that we are wrong is the exact kind of leadership we need right now. Someone to say, yes, we need to change and address institutional racism, but letting crime go rampant is not the way. Letting violent crime criminals out as soon as they're apprehended and booked does not lead to public safety. On top of a change in leadership, business owners and the Oakland Chinatown Chamber Foundation are also calling for more police patrols and more funding from all levels of government. They're frustrated with Oakland's mishandling of a grant application, you might remember, that could have meant millions of state dollars to fight retail theft through increased patrols and license plate readers in the city. San Francisco got more than 17 million, San Jose, eight and a half million, and the Alameda County DA's office got two million. President Joe Biden is back in the Bay Area for two days of fundraising, but just before his visit, he became the first American president to walk a picket line. He joined striking auto workers in Wayne, Michigan, which is home to two Ford factories. I've heard me say many times, Wall Street didn't build the country, the middle class built the country. Yeah. 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 built the middle class. Yeah. While some progress has been made on negotiations, pay raises continue to be a sticking point. Before the strike, President Biden had called on the big three car makers to come to the table and give at least some of the pay raise that the union is asking for. Meanwhile, the president's visit to the Bay Area is a quick one. Billionaire couple Mark Heising and Liz Simons are hosting a fundraiser for Mr. Biden Tuesday evening in Atherton. Tickets are as high as $100,000. And then on Wednesday, the president will hold a meeting with the president's council of advisors on science and technology and two more receptions. Well, it is official. There's a new candidate for San Francisco mayor, SF native and philanthropist Daniel Lurie, uh, formally launched his candidacy on Tuesday. Levi Strauss Air plans to run on a platform of change, not just from the current administration, but also what he calls a broken system in San Francisco. He credits his experience in public service to support him in doing so. He did get some protests today during his announcement, citing his lack of experience in city politics. And that does it for us today on SYNCED. Thanks for joining us and see you tomorrow.